everybody. Today I'm going to do a short video, always right short, <laughs> on my opinion of where sound healing comes from um, and some history with that too. Um, but yeah, so my opinion, sound healing comes from the creator, right? Our creator God. So whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10.31 so um, sound healing has a rich history that dates back to the beginning of creation. I keep looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> the roots of sound healing are found in many cultures, but they all share at least one thing, and that is the belief that sound is the creation of energy. And because of this, it holds healing powers. While Hinduism and Buddhism both have their own unique approaches to sound healing, some similarities span not only these cultures, but almost all cultures throughout time. The Bible also shares the magic and, of sound and creation, such as, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, John 1.1. 1, 1. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Genesis 1-3. Even back then, the beginning of the world. Energy. It's well known that Jesus healed the sick with his touch and performed many miracles. But sound was also a major part of Jesus' ministry. Because sound can carry so much power, it could also be used as a way for Jesus to not only heal people, but also tell them things about themselves that they had never realized before. Jesus used the power of sound in the form of words and powerful phrases. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. Mark 10.52 during the Middle Ages, sound healing was used primarily as a form of prayer. In fact, many monk, monks and nuns were known to have excellent singing skills. But it, just was, but it wasn't just about choral singing. Sound was used for healing in many ways, such as chanting and singing over people who were ill, making music, blowing horns, or rattling on gourds to drive away evil spirits beating on drums during religious ceremonies, even before battles, ringing bells at certain times of the day. Think about it. What do you hear just in your normal every Sunday church service? What do you hear at worship? Sound. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude in your hearts sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. At some point in our lives, you know, maybe the past, perhaps the future, we're all going to cry out, oh God, please help me. Can you hear that? It's in everyone's heart, whether you accept it or not. Oh God, please help me is a sound with a frequency that resonates in an energy that can be heard across time and space. Jesus hears our pleas, spoken or unspoken. Forgiveness, peace, comfort, encouragement, wellness. We are not alone in this. Now today, sound healing is a holistic approach to health and wellness that uses the power of sound to promote relaxation, reduce stress and anxiety, and improve sleep and overall health. Sound healing can also help to improve your immune system, reduce pain and inflammation in the body, increase creativity, strengthen relationships, and so much more. Although we, the way we look at sound healing today is somewhat different from that which our ancestors practiced, many still find the use of sound as a revered form of healing and connecting to spirit. The modern emerging technology of sound baths creating its own place in history may look different, but that doesn't mean that the effectiveness of it is diminished. Just ask anyone who's been to a sound bath, right? All right, hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.